freaky feet. <laughs> Guess what I just found? Oh, man. That's freaking awesome. Fossils. Yeah, we find them. Fossils. We're the fossil freaks. Fossils. Yeah, we lick them from Cretaceous to Triassic. Fossils are fantastic. Fossils. Yeah, we dig them. Fossils. We're the fossil freaks. Fossils. Yeah, we love them. Watch the Fossil Freaks on the Fossil Freak Show. Fossil Freak Show? What's a Fossil Freak Show? I don't know. Some guys doing a show about fossils and their freaks? Watch the Fossil Freaks on the Fossil Freak Show. Hey, it's the Fossil Freaks. Nice do, buddy. Hey. It's getting close to Halloween. Got to get the spirit, eh? Well, we're taking a trip to uh, the Trent again. We're going to yeah, go up to the Poly Zone. It's kind of a, an ugly day out today. It's, uh, it's, it's raining it pretty good. And, but uh, I don't really feel like fossiling, but I'm going to do a walkabout. And, Maybe something will roll down at me or we'll something. Find some. oh, we'll find something. But hey, we want to take this chance right now to answer a couple questions. We posted on our fan page that, oh, oh. Uh, you know, to ask the freaks a question. Well, we've had a few questions. A couple questions asked, and uh, what was that one question? Oh. Well, we got one from Mike. Oh, yes. And that's a pretty good one. Mike Minesco in Minnesota, he, uh, he asked, how many tentacles does an ammonite have? How many? That's a good question. Yeah, that was a good question. Yeah. Well, we looked into it, and uh, unlike an octopus, um, because uh, a lot of people think that it was like a, a squid or an octopus, but uh, that's really not the case because ammonites don't have suckers or hooks on their tentacles for start. No suckers or hooks? No. Nope. They're not hookers. They're, they're not. <laughs> okay, that's good. And But uh, like nautiluses, have uh, wow. over 90 tentacles. Tentacles everywhere, like yeah. they swim through water. And as we know, nautiluses are a present day creature. Yeah, They're still, still here. have them today, and we still find nautiluses too, yeah. fossils. Yeah, so the answer for the ammonites are, they've got eight to 10 tentacles, apparently. And uh, what they're saying is that they have two longer tentacles for grabbing, and they've got uh, eight tentacles for prey handling. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, and you know, I also found out that their blood is a light blue color because blue blood. <laughs> yeah, blue They're blood. Royalty, eh? Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, because it's copper based, and unlike any red blooded animal, which is um, is iron based, and that's why it's oh. red. Pretty cool fact. So you are Mr. Grasshopper. Uh, that's, uh, uh, that's very good. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, we also Mike asked if uh, Skippy here was a freak of nature. <laughs> uh, was That's boring. another good question. Yeah. So here, we're gonna let this thing speak for itself. Yeah, I think that's funny, eh? I do, uh, I yeah. do. Pete brought my uh, family heritage, I guess. And, and he, he, look at him, he's standing straight. Who knows what he's doing there, but hey, <laughs> thanks for the questions. Eh? Oh, you bet. The, what was the other one we... Well, we, we had we had another one from Joshua K. And uh, oh, there's our okay. buddy in Australia. Yes, about dream well, fossils. Well, he says, yeah, he says, what would be our dream fossil to find? What would be your dream well, fossil? Well, my dream fossil for the island, Vancouver Island, would definitely be like an elasmosaur. I've got bones I've found from elasmosaur, mosasaur, yeah. but uh, nothing complete. No teeth, no... Yeah, uh, no, I think for me too, it'd be it'd be a, a marine... Marine rep, yeah. reptile. But of course, who wouldn't want to find a T-Rex? Absolutely. Well, that but, would be my dream. But for a fossil find. for my collection, is I need an erectrid. A sea scorpion. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I want. I want one of them. He likes bad. those freaky things. I like freaky things yeah. like me, eh? Anybody that's seen one of those, they, they, they look like they're, they're really weird. They got this big smile on their face. They do. Don't they? They, they look a big happy face. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Like me. But uh, anyway, we're going to take a little trip off the road here and we're going to see if we can't get up to that site. And uh, we'll see you at the river. See you at the river. Rock on. Rock on, dudes. Hey, hey guys. Fossil awesome Freaks. We're down at the river here now and. Uh, we're gonna do the draw. We had said when uh, we got to a thousand fans, a thousand we were fans. gonna do a draw. Well, we are at a thousand forty-seven, so but unfortunately, a... when we did the names, we're dealing with a thousand forty names. So, so we got a thousand and forty of our fans in here, and uh, one of them 
we'll get we'll win this this ammonite which uh, was used in an episode. This was found. I believe it was episode ten. No. Yeah. Yeah, episode ten. Episode, episode ten, ten, part one. And uh, this one was found by Pete on this very river, but lower, the Trent River. Lower down, yeah. So this is a Trent one. And uh, I had uh, did a little bit of a licking with a bit of Vegemite on this ammonite uh, on the BC ferries. Yeah, you'll so, see a clip. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, how's that taste? Oh. <laughs> Oh, God. That's, that's like bat battery acid All almost. Right. Hey, so, you checked it out, eh? Here Pretty we bizarre, go. eh? Look at that. Come on, Skippy. Hey. The big moment. Drum roll. You got one? You got one. Okay, what do we got? What's that? That says Leo. So it's maybe for Leo Sobelzon. Uh, I'm not totally sure how to pronounce that. You bet, you just want to have an idea. In, in uh, December, we're going to do another draw, two draws, we're going to, maybe more, who knows, for crabs. So tell your friends to join because uh, we want to see that fan. Oh, 2000, why yep. not, eh? Yep, t shirts to come. Rock on. Rock on. Hey, it's hey guys. Freaks. Well, found, uh, I'm just walking around, seeing what's on the top of the surface and everything. I found a couple of different things. I found uh, this, one of the candy canes, a poly just sticking right out of the, the rock. There's uh, definitely more chunks of polys in there, so definitely more chunks of polys. So that one we'll have to prep in and see and hopefully get. But this is kind of neat. You don't always find fossils. Today I found caveman fossil too. No, no, it's probably just from a maybe a week. Some poor guy lost his Maybe yeah. last year, probably last year, it's hard to say. So if uh, any of our uh, friends out there lost their uh, fossil pickup Skip on the trip, got it. I've got it. Oh, and I got a little concretion here that's got a bit of a pincer yes, from uh, probably a ghost shrimp, a Callianassus. The um, rest has probably disappeared. It's probably not in there. We're going to break it open and have a look, and I'll just show you. Oh. <laughs> hey, Pete, I just Whoa. noticed. That one that I thought had one pulley, there's another pulley sticking out of it too. Uh, yeah, of course there is. Of course there is. So I'll, we'll get that prepped out. That's a nice one. Now I got this little thing. You got this little thing. I yeah, got I this little go, thing. Go, 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 go. Okay, oh. It's uh, it's actually, I'm going to bring it over here to show you. It's kind of falling apart. It's a beaker. Yeah. It's like Pete. Now what that is, you can see that this comes up and comes to a point. This is probably the bottom, actually maybe the top, apticus of an ammonite. So it would have another one that would fit inside just like the beak of a parrot or an octopus. In fact, it's exactly the same type of a mouth that an octopus has, if anybody's seen the beaks. So again, an apticus, and not a bad find, not a very good. The bigger versions that you find sometimes are from the big giant, the octopus. Yeah, yeah, the octopods, the, some of them are huge. And supposedly, we always thought all of them were ammonites, but we've been told that some of them could be from the, the giant squid. Rock on. on. Okay, well, there's a Polly sitting right here in the cliff. Just walking by and just noticed it. But I don't think anything else is there. No, no, probably it, no. It looks like it's... No elbow on it. No. Too bad, so sad there, Freaky Pete. I know, here we go. Be careful, it'll break apart on you. I know. But hey, it's a nice, uh, nice big fat chunk. Yep, yep, it's not bad. I'll glue it together and keep it anyway. Rock on, hold on. <laughs> the hazards. Well, it's starting to rain pretty good. Uh, as you can see, look at this. It's, it gets to be fall and you get all the leaves start changing. So, you know, every, every few months you come back to a spot and it's totally different. It could be the scenery. In a couple months, we'll, we'll come back here and there'll be six foot icicles that'll be hanging from the bank and we'll be finding fossils. So, rock on.
Watch the Fossil Freaks on the Fossil Freak Show.